So now let's do a small hands-on demo to actually see what we can do with CloudTrail. So let's get started off with the demo and this will be a very simple hands-on to see what are the features that CloudTrail actually provides. So once you log into your AWS management console, just go and search for CloudTrail. So you have uh, the search bar here, you can just click here and type CloudTrail. And once you're here, just click on this. So this is the default page and the first page that is a default page for CloudTrail will be like this. So AWS CloudTrail helps you to continuously log your AWS account activity and that's what we need to remember while making our decisions on AWS CloudTrail. So here we have our four pillars that I had already mentioned. So capture, store, act, review, which makes up for the process of using CloudTrail. So now having said this, the first thing to get started with CloudTrail is to create a trail. If you remember, I told you before about what is a trail. So it gives you a path with enough clues to make assured decisions. So here as well, we need to identify the things that are going on in our AWS account, isn't it? So the first step for us is to create the trail. So just click on this. So here you have to keep two things in mind. So first thing is that logs are sent to an S3 bucket. So if you don't have any bucket as of now, it will create one by default. To choose a different bucket or additional bucket, we need to choose the full create trail workflow. If you click on create trail workflow, it will give you a full workflow of this one. But this is the basic way to create a cloud trail. So the first way is to use the default process where you just add the cloud trail name and the trail bucket and the folder it creates so that the, all the logs that are being sent are sent to this. And the second option is to click on create trail workflow and follow the whole step to customize. So let's click on this. So here that you get the full workflow for creating a trail and you need to enter the trail name, enter a display name for your trail. So we can just like type demo hyphen trail and then choose a storage type so you can create a bucket to store logs for the trail or you can choose an existing bucket to store logs for this trail so i will choose like this option the first option because i don't have anything any bucket as of now so i can just create a new s3 bucket and we can enable log file encryption using SSE KMS encryption. This is for your server side encryption using key management service. But for that, you will have to provide the KMS key and both KMS keys and S3 bucket must be in the same region. But now I won't use it. I'll just show you how the logs will be. So I'll not be creating that. So I'll not enable this. I'll just disable this. And you can enable log file validation as well by clicking on this one like uh, enabled. You can just click the checkbox. And next, you can enable your SNS notifications to create some actions like sending mails or messages or executing some operations. So if you enable this, you need to create a new SNS topic or use an existing one. So if I just click on enabled, so it will give me two options. Either I can choose an existing one or I can create a new one. I will not do this now. Last but not the least, you can enable log monitoring using CloudWatch and CloudWatch log groups. So if you have an existing log group, you can use it else you can create a new one. So if I just click on enabled, so I can choose new to create a new log group or I can use a existing one by clicking on this. So this is my new log group that I want to create. And uh, I don't have any IAM rules as of now to give it to CloudTrail for the CloudWatch. So I have to create a new one here as well. So that is what like for making use of CloudTrail, you need permissions to send trail events to the CloudWatch log groups. So you can create an IAM rule or use an existing one. So I'll, so I'll just create a new one. So just click on new. And if you expand this, let's look at the policy. So there are two things here that you will notice while reading policies. The first one is action and the other one is a resource. So always see statements. So statements will be list of actions and resources. So this will be the action and this will be the resource. So if you see here, the policy has two statements with action log, create log stream and with the resource that we have that is for CloudTrail to manage the creation of the CloudWatch log stream. And the other one is log put log events. So here, this is the one, the action that we have. So there's the next action that we have, the put log events on the CloudTrail. So which helps to push the trail events. That's all. Lastly, put the key and the value and add your tags that you want. If you want to add any tags, you can add it. I don't want to, I can just click on next. Okay, I forgot to give the name, sorry. Demo CloudWatch underscore trail. So using CloudTrail to create the trail does not cost anything, but the features and the resource that you're going to use right now while creating the trail or will be chargeable. Just remember that.
So the second phase is to choose log events. So there are three type of log events that AWS offers to be captured and it's not like you have to choose one out of three. It's more like you can enable all of them as well. So there are three type of events that are mentioned here that you want to log. So the first one is management events. Second one is data events. And the third one is insights events. So let's understand this. So the first one is the management event. So management event actually captures management operations such as API usage that are performed on resources in your AWS account. So like who logged in and at what time, who signed in and those type of API calls. And you have to remember that by default, AWS CloudTrails log all management events, but does not include data or CloudTrail insight events. Remember this, management events are logged by default by CloudTrail. So the second one is data events. Actually, actually this shows the resource operations performed on or within a resource, such as when a user has uploaded a file on S3 bucket or did it delete it or when did it download it these type of operations. The third one is insight events. By default, trails do not log insight events. CloudTrail insights actually help you to identify and respond to unusual activity associated with right API calls. So it actually helps you to identify pattern based behavioral changes with the API calls uh, made in the AWS account, which appears to be unusual in nature. And you have to understand that the first copy or trail that you create by selecting management events, that tracking is free which means if you have only one trail with management event, then that will be free. But the second trail, if you have management event selected, then it will be chargeable. So if you just now created one trail and you have selected management events, so that will be free of cost. But if you create a second event and you have management event in that as well, then that will be chargeable. But these two, the data events and the insight events will always be chargeable. So you can choose any one of these as per your requirements and create the trail. So let's choose management events. So I think that is chosen by default. So here you can see it has been rightly mentioned here. No additional data uh, apply to log management events on this trail because this is your first copy of the management events. So here we can choose read and write activities and uh, these events that you choose here will be captured as a part of the log files in the S3 bucket. So just choose read and write and just click on next. So now just review and then confirm the details to create your trail. So if you see here, I hope you remember what we had already discussed before in console. So when you create a trail in the console, by default, the multi region trail is enabled. So here as well, you need to remember one thing very clearly. If you have created your trail and you've enabled cloud trail events on your cloud trail, wait and allow up to 36 hours for the first insight events to be logged after you create your trial because insights events are logged only when CloudTrail actually detects unusual right API activity. So it might take some time, but here we are creating the management event. So it doesn't matter. It will be tracked immediately. But if you are creating with insight events, then wait for or allow up to 36 hours for the first insight events. So don't panic. Just if you are using insight events, please wait for around 36 hours. And that's all now. Just click on create trail and let's wait for the magic to happen. So now your trail is created. So multi-region trail is enabled. We have the name, the demo trail that we have here. The home region is Asia Pacific. The insights events are disabled. Organization trail is disabled. Now there's the cloud trail event log that we are capturing here. There's the S3 bucket. So you can just right click on this and we can see the S3 bucket created. So that's a very good thing for us. And if suppose you want to use this CloudWatch log group, you can just go here or you can go to CloudWatch log groups. You will find a log group created there. So we can just see that as well. So let's see what exactly it is showing us. So just go to CloudWatch. So what we can do is first we can see the Amazon S3 part and then we'll go to the CloudWatch part. So if you see here, we have AWS logs and these are the true CloudTrail folders. So this is the CloudTrail digest and this is the CloudTrail. So if you can click on CloudTrail, you can see AP South 1, 2021, 01, 015, and this is the log that we have. So now we can go to CloudWatch now and we'll go to log groups. So there'll be a log group that will be created for us. That will be our CloudTrail log group, this one. 
so retention policy that we have here is never expire so this is the default retention policy and you can just click on this so this is the log stream and these are the events that are being captured so these are the events that are being captured and these are very sensitive information i cannot show you everything so that's why i'm hiding all these things so these are the logs that you're going to see here so these are the things that actually are the management events so i can i cannot show you but you can try this as well and you will be able to uh, see what are the actions that we are going to have here and what are the logs that we are getting here Th same thing that we will get here as well but these are in the json.gz format so if i want i can just uh, download this so there's a folder yeah so this is the json that we get so this can be actually queried so this is the place where you can actually use these aws s3 buckets to query your data that you want for your cloud trail or or else you can go back to the cloudwatch log groups and you can go to the log streams that you have here and you can view the insights as well or the logs as well so that's one thing that you can do or that actually depends on what your requirement is and based on which you can generate reports you can create alarms but we are not going to do this right now because this will be a considerable overhead i just wanted to show you how you can create your cloud trail so that's it for the demo i think we can just clean up everything that we had so here i can just click on this and i can delete the trail that i have so you will no longer receive log files for this trail log files that were already delivered to the s3 buckets are not deleted until and unless you delete them so even if i delete the trail the s3 bucket will be there so i need to clean up that as well so just click on delete so my trail is deleted and the next thing that i want to do is i want to clean up the s3 bucket that we have and the cloudwatch log groups just click on this and just uh, just select this and just click on delete yeah so permanently delete and just click on empty so it will empty your bucket and you can just exit this and you can delete this just copy this bucket name paste it delete go to cloud watch go to log groups and just select this and actions and delete log group just refresh this so now you're good to go so today we learned how to create cloud trails and i hope you enjoyed this session